Hey guys, uh, today we're going to show you some concepts for the guillotine choke. Uh, my name is Jamie Kilstein. I'm a brown belt, trained under Marcelo Garcia for eight years, coached over at uh, Henzo Gracie's in Los Angeles. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys this stuff. I make comedy videos, jujitsu videos, you'll see all that stuff at the bottom. Uh, but right now, let's choke some people. Okay, so I really want to focus on a concept. A lot of times when we go down our like sad YouTube jiu-jitsu wormholes, um, we just learn a bunch of moves and we go, I'm going to use all those moves and then we use none of those moves, right? So I want to show you a concept for the guillotine that you can use uh, pretty much for all of the guillotines. Um, and the concept is to stay attached, all right? So if we start in standing, a lot of times when we grab someone's neck, we think about street fights, we think about, you know, what do we do to be strong, and we want to lift. People try to lift really hard, right? Uh, that's not going to work. When we lift like that, we're not pushing down on him at all, and a lot of times we're actually loosening the grip where his head is going to be far easier for his head to come out, right? I like the guillotine choke because I'm not strong. Um, I hit the guillotine from everywhere. I'm not good at Kimuras. Um, I was vegan for 15 years. I'm five foot seven. I cry at Baby Yoda memes. Uh, I need something easy uh, to finish an opponent. And what's great is this uh, is very soft. Uh, and this is very fragile and easy to attack, right? So what I want to do is I don't make it just my arm. I want to use my whole body against his trachea. So the key is to have my chest and my shoulder over his back and his neck. I want to get to the point where my shoulder's on the back of his neck, and if I can, if I jump for a snap guillotine, I'm putting my chest, like, on his back, okay? Um, so let's use the standing one, for example. If I want to finish the standing one, I have this good position, I have my shoulder on his neck, I'm connected to his trachea here, uh, my chest is on his back. If I suddenly lift up and spaz out, I'm gonna lose everything I work for. The key to finishing it standing is I wanna keep the pressure going down from my upper body as I lift my hips. So you're kinda of doing like a, a pervy old man walk where I'm keeping this compacted while my hips come up. So when I have his neck, I try to stay connected and crunch. I'm gonna lift this elbow. Uh, if I wanna do the Marcelo team, the Marcelo finish, which I do, I'm gonna lift this up. I'm gonna stay connected, and I'm gonna walk, 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 and that's how you get your tap. But I'm keeping that chest connected, so I don't just lift my hips high, I stay crunched, lift my hips, and then I go. So if we're looking at it from the ground, right, it's the same concept. So if my partner's turtled, I have the choke here, and if I start to lift and go to my back, he's just gonna jump to the other side. Yes! I'm lifting him into the pass. And this is what most people do. This is where most people screw up the guillotine. Is even if they sit with it nicely, they go back to finish it. Because again, you think if you lift up, you're going to get more leverage, right? But if I lift up, his head's just going to come out. So what you want to do, and this seems kind of counterintuitive, is I get him, again, the concept, right? My chest is on his back, my shoulder's on his neck. Is I want to slide into him. Okay, so uh, just move your arm just so they can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna slide, I'm gonna baseball slide at an angle, getting as close to him as possible. And then my left leg is gonna go over his back so he doesn't jump. So when I slide for it, I go in here. And that's how I'll get the choke. Or that's how I'll get the tap. What'll happen is you tell people that and you go, go into them. And they go, got it. And then this happens. They go into them and then they still go on their back like that. You need to commit fully to sliding in um, and being as close to him as possible and keeping that crunch. So when I slide in, my shoulder stays right here, right? So if you look at it from this angle, yeah. I'm here, but this stays connected. Now I don't go back this way. I stay on my hip. So my shoulder's driving down on his neck. Then this leg comes over and then you can get the tap. Um, even if you're finishing the guillotine from the top, it's not all about the squeeze. It's about staying connected to them. It's about um, positions, right? So one of the ones that I use the most is if I'm knee cutting on step. So if I'm knee cutting here, right? I love to use the guillotine 
Um, from here, I use a hip switch to pass, right? So what I'll do is I'll start to pass. If I get stuck here, I'll hip switch, grab the guillotine, one, and then I'll kick this out, two, and then I'll step over, right? But my chest is still staying connected. What happens a lot of times is we get the neck and we get so excited that we just start squeezing and squeezing or lifting. And again, if I lift, nothing's there. I wanna stay glued to him so I can follow him everywhere he goes, right? So for this one, if we keep our body connected to him, it's really great because even if he has the underhook, right? Which I don't want. I don't want him to have the underhook if, he, if I'm trying to pass. If I knee cut and I grab this, if I knee cut now and I don't grab the guillotine, he's just gonna come up. He's gonna win this fight, right? But if I'm always shooting for the neck, so here, if I can switch my hips and shoot for the neck, a couple of things can happen and they're both great for me. Once I grab here, if he rolls into me and I stay connected, my chest is still connected, I have my guillotine here. If he doesn't roll into me and he just stays, I'm out. And then I have it there. But I'm staying connected. So I'll use the guillotine grip uh, to get my pass, to get my sweep, and to get the choke. It's just you have to bite on and stay connected to them. Um, and then your options are, are, are everywhere. You know, if I grab it here, let's say I'm in butterfly guard, I snap him down and I grab it. If I'm staying connected, you know, let's say Steph tucks his chin, right? I don't have the choke anymore, but because I'm connected to him, I still have his body. So I can butterfly sweep him, I can take him over backwards, I can go into the mounted guillotine. There's a ton of uh, options as long as we are glued to them. So once you grab the neck, just stay glued to them. Um, the last thing I wanna say is, I think one of the reasons that people fail, this is another concept, that people fail with the guillotine is they grab it very delicately. So let's say I'm on top and we're fighting. Um, they'll kind of just go like, like, eh? Like they'll half grab it, right? And they won't commit to it. Every time I see that neck, even if we're, every time I see it, I'm going immediately and I'm snapping down hard, right? If I'm passing, you know, right away. I, I'm not resting my arm, then finding the choke. As I'm cutting, I just grab it. And you have to have that bite, just like you're coming in hard there. Once you have that bite, they panic, then you glue your body down to them, now they can't move, and then you follow them. You just chill out, you don't go start seeing red and squeezing and squeezing and squeezing. You let them gas themselves out, hold onto their neck, take some deep breaths, and then they're gonna, they're, they're gonna land in a choke or you're gonna find uh, a really good place uh, to land. So those are some concepts of the guillotine. Biggest thing, chest over back, shoulder hard on the neck, stay connected. If you're on the bottom, you wanna slide into them, not away, not lean back. You don't wanna, you don't have to lift heavy. It's just about a crunch. You're just compacting them uh, into themselves, which, which is really uh, violent. Uh, it's my absolute favorite choke. I hit it from everywhere. If I don't hit the choke, it lets me pass people uh, who might have really good guards. It lets me sweep people who might be bigger than me just because there is that constant threat uh, everywhere. It's just guillotines everywhere. Guillotine, guillotine, guillotine. Uh, thank you guys for checking this out. Um, this was more technique based, uh, but I also have uh, ridiculous videos over at my YouTube uh, that me and my friend from Updraft Productions uh, made. Uh, we have the Epstein choke, uh, which kind of blew up. We have uh, three guys not to be when you're uh, rolling and other videos like that. So I think you guys will like it. Uh, you can check us out on Instagram as well. My Instagram is just at the Jamie Kilstein. Uh, all that stuff will be at the bottom. And uh, yeah, thanks. Go choke some people.